This is Steve, Steve's Farm Adventure. Thought I'd bring you down here and show you where we've been attacked. We've been attacked heavily by the whistle pig. He just about do us in on our green beans and down here on our broccoli and everything. If you look at that right there, it uh, it done eat done eat everything off. The whistle pig has attacked. We don't know what we're going to do. It, uh, I guess we're going to try to catch him. But anyway, it, uh, everything's doing good in the garden. Everything was doing really good until the whistle pig come in. And just to let you know, a whistle pig and a groundhog or a woodchuck are all the same thing. All this that you see right through here where there's very few vines look like that two days ago and where the broccoli was right there we're hoping we can salvage some of it we got one with one head on it it uh you know but the the whistle pig has attacked so we're we're going to set out a trap a couple traps a uh, have a heart trap live trap and then we're going to a uh, foot trap and see what see what we can find I mean he's even done eat our tomatoes off that tomato plant was waist high yesterday and he's been in here and has chewed every everything off of it so we got to get him get him caught and get him stopped before he ruins our entire garden and we don't have anything to eat so we're gonna walk up here and see if we see any any tracks it uh, uh pretty sure it's not deer there there's the tracks right there you can see where they're coming in or he's coming in i haven't found but one deer track in in this whole garden since we put up this deer fence um you know so anyway we'll be back in a minute <clears throat> we kind of gathered up our stuff here we're going to use a leg, a couple leg hole traps. These are pretty old, but they still work. And we're going to see if we can't catch him in one or two of these. And with that, we're also going to put out a have a heart live trap. And as we do things, uh, we'll try to get good video of it, of us doing it, and explain to you how we're going to do it. So anyway, um, hang in here with us and we're going to do a few little odds and ends and then we'll be back. We're going to set these leg traps and see if we can't get them situated and hid to where the groundhog and, and then we'll come on and get, and get snapped into them. So here we go. Take steel peg and peg this in the ground. Go over here and try to figure out where they're coming through at and see if we can't catch one.
Looks like they might be coming through right through here too. That's all right. We'll put. We've got two. Anytime you're trying to trap, you always stand a chance of getting caught yourself. So we're going to mash this. Try, well, we're going to step on it, I guess. Go ahead and put it right here. These are fairly hard to set. I mean, some people do it easy, but I haven't done it in about 20 years because I haven't needed to, so. You don't want to get your fingers near this thing because it'll hurt you. It'll also scare the poopy out of you too. crowbar and dig down a little bit. We've got our trap set. We're going to take this little old piece of blue cloth right here and we're going to lay it across our pad so that we can sprinkle dirt on it. There we go. 
that keeps the dirt from getting on our getting on our set plate. Now we'll just take and sprinkle this dirt on it and it might go off. Try to set it down in there pretty good and stiff. We'll try to get a get you a video picture of that. In front of that crowbar is where that trap's at. And that other pole right back there, right there, is what's holding it. Gonna hold it when the groundhog gets on it. Now where the other stuff is, we're gonna set up this have a heart trap and uh, put it in there with some bait in it. So let me go and get the bait and we'll come back. We've got the uh, Have a Heart live trap set up. We put green beans, which is like um, whistle pig, groundhog candy. So we put some of that in there and some carrots. And we're gonna try that. And we've got the other, the leg hold trap is up there where you see the rods. Let's see if I can hold it right there. And we're going to put another one with some bait right over here. There's some more tracks right in here. So we're going to try some more right in there. So we will, uh, maybe you can see, get that as we do it. Um, we're going to try not to get trapped ourselves. So. No, I think I changed my mind. I think I'm going to put it over here. Well, it's hard to say. These things are coming from everywhere. I do think I am going to put it back over here. We're going to dig it up. And try to set our trap in there. Bed that thing in. This one's pretty stiff. There we go, get her worked out.
we'll see if she goes off by herself. A lot of times they will go off by themselves. Biggest thing is I don't want my finger in there. And it'll scare the poopy out of you if it goes off. So now we're going to take this other piece of cloth, which really ain't quite big enough. I hate when it does that. That means I got to get my finger in there. Yep, there it went. Well, we'll take her back up here and try her again. Get over here and get some of this sand. Take this crowbar and put it in there with it, just a double extra. All right. So we got three traps set up for a whistle pig.
we'll take everything back with us and see if we catch him. We really need to catch him because he's killing us. But I imagine there's more than one of them. All right, our traps look pretty good. He's that one, this one, and that one. As you can see, he pretty much decimated our green beans. And he's really been working on these mater plants. And I do mean really been working on them. I'm gonna set this camera down so I can hold it a little better. All right, this is probably gonna be a two-part video. You can see that we're doing all right as far as stuff growing. Now all we gotta do is keep everybody off of it. Our Brussels sprouts are doing pretty good. We actually got a head right on this one over here. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We got several strawberries up here, corns. Looks like the corn's moving on pretty good. We'll walk around here for a minute. As you can see the cucumbers, we got right many cucumbers. These things are coming on, boom, 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 boom. Strawberries, the ever bearing strawberries and stuff. It uh, squash. Yeah, we're gonna get beans out of this, but it you know, just isn't gonna be the amount of beans that we were originally gonna get. But we're gonna plant a couple more rows, so we got plenty to eat this winter. There's our little corn patch. Even though after all the flooding, it's doing all right. I didn't look at our pinto beans, but, uh-oh, Whistle Pig done got in our pinto beans. He cleaned them off all the way down through here. So they survived the flood, but they ain't survived the Whistle Pig. See if we can find some tracks while we walk around. It, uh, I'm dead blame things like them beans, I'll tell you. We hadn't had no critters in here at all until the last few days. Dang if he ain't got in here good fashion. And I don't see no deer tracks, so it's about got to be the groundhog got in here we need to get in here and do some cleanup work walk on down here and see if we can see any tracks because I would think as much as this rain that it would uh, yep right there been all the way over here clean this out over here let's step over this way and see if we can follow those tracks Yep, right there and right there. Yep, right in there. So, not exactly sure where he's coming through here at, but he's got to be. It, uh, anyway, our deer fence is evidently keeping the deer out. But they're not keeping the whistle pig out, so we've got to uh, we've got to get him. We'll help him along in his endeavor for maturity and uh, help to alleviate some of his hunger pains. But anyway, all right. This is Steve with Steve's Farm Adventure. We'll get back to you in part two of this video. See if we catch anything, and which I'm pretty sure we're going to. It uh, and thanks for coming. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as we walk out today, we'll be doing a little bit of the 
showing the damage what what the groundhog has done done and kind of a update of the garden it uh so we do have some mater plants and stuff and as you can see the squash and everything's looking pretty good it uh the insects haven't bothered us as we come across here to the potatoes you can see that we definitely need to get in here tomorrow or the next day and dig these potatoes and onions and uh we need to replant some of our sweet potatoes some of them they died on out they got reckon it got too dry and hot before we got the rain in here so we'll probably have to go back through and and re replant them it, I don't know if you can see it but right in there there's plants you can see some of the plants over in there there and there so anyway listen this is Steve again Steve's farm adventure thanks for coming please subscribe tap the notification bell and leave comments if you got a better solution or a another solution by all means let us know what it is and uh we'll be glad to try it and see how it works but thanks again have a great day